Oh, watch the fence. Oh! Damn. Holy shit. That was, ah, that was smart as yeah. fuck, bro. Hey, y'all. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Narrow World. Yeah. Welcome back to Nerdborth MMA. I'm your host, George, and my co-host here, Jason. And today we'll be continuing our series, Nerdborth MMA. Guys, we're going to be covering an exciting main event, UFC 288's main event is going to be, ooh, Jason, <laughs> for the Bantamweight Championship, the return of Triple C to challenge Aljamain Sterling. Jason, this is going to be an exciting card. Guys, we were busy this week, so we know we didn't have the MMA podcast to kind of talk about predictions, but today we're going to do speed round, because this is a pretty interesting fight, but we know you guys are mostly interested in the reactions as well as the post-fight discussion because ultimately that's going to really matter for this. Mm -hmm. So guys, you know, Jason, we get a little timer out here, right? We're going to go in and give you our thoughts on this fight. But first off, we're going to start it differently. We're going to give you our predictions first just so that you can get an understanding of why what we, our prediction is and why you're thinking that way as well because, man, this is going to be crazy. But guys, before we get into all that, make sure to click the link in the description below if you want 10% off Epic MMA Streetwear. Check the link in the description below. Click on if you want that Epic 10%. Use George the code George10 at checkout. But guys, let me give, let's give you our predictions. So Jason, let's start off bold, man. This is a hard one for me to break down and predict. Let's start this timer, man. And I'll tell you right now, it was hard for me to really predict this. But I think just because of how tried and true this man has proved his career to be, mm -hmm. I'm giving it to Triple C, bro. Okay. It's, and, and the reason why is because there's a lot of things, right? Ring rust is a thing. But given that he's been training Jung Wei Li, Davidson Figueroa, John Jones, Yuri Prochaska, this man's just training out Olympic gold, a Korean zombie as well. Like This man has been working overtime when he was out of, even though he was out of competition, he was still yeah. approximately still in it just because of all the great fighters he's been coaching. Mm -hmm. So definitely. He's also been staying active, and if you saw from the weight cut and everything, like let's tell. Let me be honest, bro. The weight cut looks like it's gonna hurt Aljo more than it does Henry. So I feel like seeing that that weight cut not be as bad for Triple C as it was, considering he was also a, a wrestler, an Olympic wrestler as yeah. well. If you yeah. didn't know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you didn't know, he was an Olympic wrestler. But yeah. because of that, that's a lot of extreme weight cut discipline you need for that sport. So mm -hmm. I think those tricks that he's learned from that, as well as you know, carrying through to what he's already done. Getting out knockouts over what was it, TJ Dillashaw, Marlon Marais, as well as the Dom Dominic Cruz as well yeah, to become yeah. double champion. That was crazy. And then retiring after he didn't retire on an L, he retired on a on dub, dub on top yeah. of his game. And yeah. even he's he, he's only honestly he can only get better from there because he's even though his wrestling was his bread and butter, he made his name to the epicness because he was able to develop his hands, develop develop such a high fight IQ as well as you know go in the ring, dominate with that thought of wrestling was also implementing his unique striking game as you know mm -hmm. those wins over Demetrius Johnson only age well considering how Demetrius Johnson just won his trilogy as well did, right yeah, and they're training yeah. to again to, he trains with Demetrius Johnson for fun yeah. so I mean dude like if that's what I'm saying not to disrespect Aljamain Sterling and as well as his crew in New York and everything like that but I'm just telling you man like Aljo has had a great run too. His comp level of competition is crazy. Let's forget about that first Peter Yon fight because he dominated yeah. and went backpack on the second one. Yeah. I think Aljo's main strengths to win this fight or yet to implement that black backpack, but Henry Cejudo definitely still has. He, he's the one that, like, I think started a lot of things that Aljo did. Henry Cejudo was doing that first too. Yeah. As well true. as that power in his striking. That striking is going to hurt a lot more considering that, you know. If he if Prenier Suda has been working that on in the lab, right, you already know it's gonna be even better. And if considering Aljo looked a lot, and I'm not saying the weight cut is, you know, gonna completely be a huge factor, but we right. know Aljo to get to one to get to Bantam weight's a bit yeah, hard, you know. It's not easy for him, yeah. Exactly. So I think that those punches and that power that Suda has, as well as a championship experience, he's not gonna have that. So he's again Tenny Suhudo thrives on in the ring, in the lights and everything like that too, right? Yeah, he's cringe, but when he delivers, bro, those last <laughs> performances before he left were deliver were amazing. So yeah. again, I I think he has all he has the skills and the whole things that what it takes to defeat Aljamain Sterling just because like Aljamain's biggest thing not even though we know that Aljamain can use his striking right he he's de he developed that throughout his game as well right but we know that he's gonna go for the bread and butter Listen. honestly yeah and honestly for me the most interesting thing about this fight is gonna be yeah how those clinching wrestling changes is gonna be as well as it's gonna be one of those matches where because there's both guys have been expert grapplers they're gonna have to go on the feet and that's so that's gonna be fun to see bro yeah. Aljamain has got great kicks so Henry Cejudo's gotta be careful but also you know it, it's just it's just crazy to think how this fight could go but 
but Jason, bro, I think I just hit my cap on it mm-hmm. on time. So you can go ahead, start the five, and then you know, give me your thoughts, bro, and give me your prediction. <sighs> Man, I guess if we're you know changing up and we're just gonna go straight into prediction first, um, dude, I'm actually gonna have to agree with you on this. Okay, one. Okay, okay. I also think. Wait, you, did you say what 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 your prediction was? Like what round? Oh or, yeah, yeah I, you didn't. I think. Dude, this could be wrong. I think just to give the, I respect Aljamain enough, you know, to know that I think Aljamain's a threat. I think it's gonna be around four TKO. Rough, okay. Yeah, because okay. I think that uh, Henry Cejudo doesn't really have to implement that wrestling that quickly as he wins, because that's just a threat. They both could d- do that and okay. capitalize it later, but because of that, they can also capitalize the feet with that threat of wrestling. So that's why. But I don't mean taking your time. My bad. <laughs> nah, you're good. But yeah, no, man. I think uh, I think Henry Cejudo's definitely got this. And it's not just to say like, oh, Aljo isn't capable of winning either, but he definitely has a chance of winning this game, this match too. But I think the real difference is going to be can Al, not can when Henry Cejudo is able to show his dominance and what he's been working on for the past three years. You know, sure he was just training people and he was helping so many people, like you mentioned, John Jones, uh, Figueredo, so many other people, right? Yeah. But he was also working on himself, too. Yeah. And he, I think he's improved a lot. And the only thing I could even see a problem is that ring rust or that, that octagon rust of mm-hmm. not fighting in, like, a cage for three years. Mm-hmm. That could be the only issue I see with Henry Cejudo not being able to win. And, you know, having those those the nerves and all that kick in. Right. But, honestly, he's been an Olympic wrestler. He's got gold and all that. So he shouldn't have that, like, that peer pressure. That, not peer pressure. That, that performance pressure, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And I think... Honestly, if we just go look at the tactics and stuff like that, Henry Cejudo has really good capabilities on on his feet and in wrestling. Yeah. Aljo, on the other hand, he really, like you said, stick to his sticks to his bread and butter. He is good at striking and, and throwing those kicks, but I think one thing that I've never no, I've noticed is that he's not as powerful as he, mm-hmm. he could he could be. Like yeah. all of his last wins, bro, they were none of them were like knockouts or TKOs. Yeah, the they were decisions. One, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but dude, that's the problem. The thing that I noticed with Aljo is that he's not sure he can maybe win by TKO, but yeah. honestly, man, he doesn't have that I've never seen that real power from him to be able to knock somebody out. Uh, I agree. It's weird because he is really big for the division. Yeah, too. he is. That's the thing. Like he has a hard time making making the weight cut even while he was on the weight scale. Uh he literally said, Oh, this one was a little bit hard. <laughs> So, oh so, but he, but the thing is, he actually made one thirty four instead of one thirty five. So he, hey, he overdid still, it. That's yeah, he good. overdid it. But he was like, yeah, this one was a little tough. But so technically, we should see more power from him. But you know, I just don't think his his striking is as developed as Henry's. I think Henry just has more capabilities of being able to knock people out. We, like you, you've already mentioned, he, yeah. he's done it to people like T.J. Dillashaw. So Corey didn't even not Corey saying, um, uh, what's that other guy's. Uh, Marl, he beat he beat Marlon Moraes. Yeah, no, the guy that T.J. Dillashaw fought, Cody Cody Cody's, Garbrandt. Oh yeah, 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 like dude, this Henry Cejudo, he he can easily you know knock any any of these. He's fought, knocked out so many of these fighters. So yeah. honestly, like on the feet, I don't know what Aljo can do that can really hurt Henry. And in the wrestling, I don't think Aljo is going to be able to take him down so easily. Like yeah. it, I don't think it's going to be as easy as it thinks. And that's those are the two things that I'm I'm mostly. You know, I feel like Henry's just gonna win right. on the feet and on the the grappling exchanges. And the only way, like, just to even give Aljo a chance, I would say the only way I would even see him winning is like for if he just somehow outstrikes just from landing more and wins through decision. I could even see that like a scramble if needed. Like if it's like oh. if it's like a messed up, some messes up a scramble. That's oh, the only way. Oh, and he gets like a better position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's possible too. I mean, he did. Uh, yes, I guess. Submission is also a possibility. Um, it's either for if Aljo were to win, it would be either submission or just decision. Mm-hmm. But for, I guess my prediction, I think Henry Cejudo is definitely going to win this, and I think it would it could even be a TKO. Damn son, what and, round? What round? Oh, damn, that's the thing. He could he could get him out. He can get him out early. Yeah. And you know what? Just to just to bring that John Jones spirit of being able to get. Uh, Cyril gone out in the first round. I'm gonna say yo. I'm not gonna say first round. I'm gonna say like second round. Okay. I think he can yo. get him out second round. Respect. respect. TKO. Hey, bro. You know, hey, man. Dude, he... Henry Cejudo, Cejudo trains killers, man. He yeah. like when he heard when I heard he was working with John Jones stuff like that. I'm like, there's no way Henry Cejudo could lose. Bro. He this literally man. told mentioned John Jones the same position he was gonna be in against Cyril gone. Yeah. He literally told him, hey, bro, like if when he give him the little bit of control really quick or make it look like he gave him some space, then capitalize it. And John Jones did that, submitted him first round. 
Yeah. You saw our reaction, yeah. fucking it's monkey crazy. bonkers, bro. <laughs> we went, we went primal ape shit. Yeah, bro. no, literally, because no one expected it. We were right. just like, oh, you know, he's he was rusty too. Yeah. We're like, oh, you know, he's gonna take you. Oh, Arguably near the same amount of time as yeah. John Jones too. So, so if anything, that just t- and if if Henry helped, you know, make John Jones be able to do stuff like that, like, wow, hey man, yeah. What do you think the the teachers are going to be able to do, right? For so, sure, for sure. That I'm, dude, I'm looking forward to this, man. I'm just, I just hope, you know. Yeah, second round TKO for Henry. We'll see how this goes, bro. Dude, I'm I'm excited, man. That dude, I can't wait to see how this fight breaks down. Just before we give you guys our reactions, once again, de- get ten percent off for Epic MMA Streetwear. Click in the link description below. Use code George Ten. Before we go into reactions, one thing I hope to see is to see who actually defended the better wrestler. That's one question mm-hmm. I want to answer, Jason. Yep. And then another is, you know, if if it is a finish, how is it going to be, Jason? So I don't know. What we have any more final? Let's get into this reaction. Let's get into it, man. All right, then, guys. Without further ado, here's the reaction. UFC 288's main event: the return of Triple C versus Aljamain Sterling. Who's going to win? Is the King of Cringe going to be back? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait to see how this fight goes down. So without further ado, here's your reaction. UFC 288's main event, Henry Cejudo versus Aljamain Sterling for the Bantamweight Championship of the World. Cejudo versus Sterling. Wow, I told you the leg kicks from Aljamain could be a factor in it, bro. Oh, checking the leg kicks. Dude, Aljo looks huge, bro. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're in the scramble, okay. Oh, Cejudo got top position. That's crazy, bro. Let's see in the first round too. Oh my god! See, what if happen? he what if he gets the John Jones what? shit? What if no, he gets the Oh, fu- bro, no way! <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Look. Ready? Okay. No. Actually, I thought he let him up on the fence a little bit. That's crazy, bro. I mean, I mean, should have expected. He is the Olympic wrestler. Yeah, bro. But I don't think Aljamain expected that. Yeah, bro. Oh. No way. Already? No way. That's so smart, dude. dude. Look at that, bro. He's like, yeah, you got surgery there. I'm gonna make sure I use that. Yeah, bro. That's good. And he will dominate that exchange. Oh. Okay, Ooh. dude. Oh. Ooh. Damn, bro. See, Aljamain has got good use of his range right there. Oh. Watch the takedown. Oh, let's see. Yeah, he's trying to trying to get him to go on one side. Ooh, Damn. nice. Oh, dude, look at that sprawl, though. Look at that. See, this was one. You already know that knee was coming to the face. Yeah. But dude, fight. yeah, bro. But look how much pressure. Oh. Oh, nice. Still got. Okay, he's got him on the fence, though. That's Let's good. See. Damn. Let's see. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna take him? Down? Sean, Sean O'Malley, you better take your notes, man. Yeah. Cause this is what you're about to get. It doesn't matter who you're, you're fighting. You're about two dudes who are oh. willing to wrestle. The backpack. Oh. The backpack. Oh, dude. Oh. He's in the body. Yo, is he about to get his backpack? Yo, yo. Yo, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 Yo. Dude. Dude, this is his world, bro. Oh, no. Okay, so Aljo ends off. With dominant position. This is going to be oh, a hard round to score. Go. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh! oh! Damn. Damn. Aljo. Aljo may just took in, that bro. round, bro. Yeah. Aljo took that round. No, it kind, of, it kind of looked like he was looking somewhere else. Yeah. Oh! That's, that was saucy, that bro. Land? Dude, damn. That was fast. Look, I like the Cruiser staying in the game plan. Chopping up the legs. Oh! Question mark kick? Dude, what? crazy, bro. Damn. Damn, bro, I like that Aljo's training in the striking. He said he was trying to go off the finish, and he's showing those intentions right now, so. Oh, what the? Hey, yo. Takedown. Kind of sloppy takedown there, yeah. not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. He clipped him there a little bit on Henry's face. Oh. oh Jesus, bro. He's got. See, like, when he throws, dude, if he can land, that's the thing. Yeah. Honestly, what he should be doing is. Do those, those movements, feigning up front, then keep throwing those leg kicks. And then eventually, when Aljo anticipates the legs, boom, you go up top. Yeah, I forgot by. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Damn, you gotta watch that, bro. Aljo <laughs> sure, got for real. caught, dude. Yeah, bro, for real. I, I oh. thought I almost got him for a second, to be honest, yeah. bro. Significant, oh, Sterling has the more significant strikes. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh no! 
Damn. That's a hard round to score, man. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Damn, he landed that knee. Damn. Dude. Holy shit, dude. Dude, imp Sahudo's improving each round. Yeah. yeah he's, he's putting his knees in. I'm like, I'm a ground fighter, guys. Don't fucking... <laughs> you Peter Yan? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Brent grab up. Good shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, that shit. was that was a good one. They got it. Oh. Oh, nice elbow, dude. Oh shit. Nah, oh, so Hudo's like I'm in now, bro. I'm locked in. Oh look. Damn. Oh, they keep switching back and forth. Yeah, this is crazy, man. Let's see, you can see. They're both doing good on clinch work, but. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, dude, Cejudo's on it, though, in terms of yeah, the defense. Is, is. But this is not a good position to be in. Yeah, I don't know how you can post up like that without risking the backpack. Turn, he's got to turn it, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, watch the fence. Oh! oh! Damn. Holy that was shit. That was smart as yeah. fuck, bro. Damn. And honestly, the, just putting pressure on his neck. Oh, dude, look at that. Dude, he's putting pressure on his neck, bro. Yeah, bro. He's got surgery there, so why not? Damn, bro. Kind of scummy, but I respect it. Yeah, I mean, you got to use you gotta use all the advantages, right? It's like, bro, I'm sending your ass to rehab, dog. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. Oh, dude, he's, look how long he is, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Should, that's why you should use that. Dude. That question mark so, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice knee. Oh Very, my dude, God. his knees are so much. Like, yeah, he's dude. Standing it better. Just because like the size difference, yeah. bro. The moment he lifts up his leg, his knees already there. Oh, oh! that was good for Henry, right there. That might have just secured in the round. Yeah. When the gold's on the line, you get the balls. That's his heavy leg kicks, bro. Throw another one, bro. There you go. Throw another one in there. Throw another one in there. These championship rounds are uh, definitely gonna Honestly, matter. though, so Hudo's still showing that championship grit. He showed that he belongs. Yeah, he still sure, does, yeah. you know? Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh! Ooh. 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 Nice. Oh, Ooh. my God! Did he land the knee? But, I dude, how is Aljo still there, bro? I don't... Honestly, bro, this is win, lose, or draw. Both their stocks are going to go up from this yeah. shit. Oh, look at that. 50, 42. Yeah, Sterling's just voluming him right now, which is going to be good on the judging. Oh. 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 Oh, there you go. Oh shit, dude! Look at Henry, bro. Look at yeah, that he, breathing, he, bro. Dude, he's he fucking doing split, bro. Split, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 see that Nazi? Nah, yeah. Damn. Hey, damn, bro. Yeah, he definitely won this round. Damn, bro. He definitely won this round. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy. Yo, last round, bro. This is crazy, man. Hey, relax, bro. I don't want to see that damn uh, Kamar Usman, Leon Edwards shit, you know? Don't want to get to see that knock, that knockout. Come on, man. For real. Dude, so who do I have to bring in everything now? Yeah. Honestly, bro, I don't think either fighter would be satisfied with a decision like that. Look at that. Marab's like, I'm never going to fight for the title. I know, for real. <laughs> if, if he wins. If, if Sterling wins. It's like, my best buddy wins. Oh, <sighs> decent kick. Oh! Damn. Damn, he's he open up Sahudo. Got that left hook, sure. like... Oh. The man said easy money, and it's like, not so easy yeah, money. Yeah, not so easy, man. Oh! Dude, keep going, pouring, bro. 
Oh! Dude! All right. Oh! He has his back! He backpacking him. <laughs> oh, he's getting up. Oh, nice turn. I do. I don't know how to fucking score it. I think Aljo. I, I say Aljo. Maybe, but like a little bit. So. Yeah, that is a really close one. Oh, it's no. a split. Okay. Damn, yeah. Yeah, I think I think so too. Damn, son. So who do I'm sorry, man. Yeah. yeah. You said easy money, but that wasn't easy yeah, money, but uh, that was tight though. Yeah, that was tight, but I I agree with it. Hey y'all, we're back for action UFC 280's main event. Oh my goodness. Aljamain Sterling versus Triple C. There was no and new today, just and still. And man, Aljamain Sterling and Henry Saputo put on a great performance, but mm -hmm. Aljamain took it to the top and it was crazy, man. Jason, give me your thoughts, man. What were your thoughts on this fight overall? Dude, I think, uh, you know, I think we, we both predicted Henry Saputo to win this fight. And he definitely had moments in this fight, but I just think at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. And I, when I say just it wasn't enough, it was by like a little bit. Yeah. Because it was a really close fight overall. Yeah. There was a lot of takedowns on both sides. Uh, there was good, significant strikes on both sides that both fighters landed, but I just think Aljamain Sterling just landed a little bit more right. than Sin Suhudo did, and right. you know that—that's what happened, and and the decision went to him. And honestly, Suhu, for Suhudo to not fight three for you know to be on layover for three years and not fight and was coaching a bunch of people, he still did a really good job, and it really he showed that he still deserves to be up in the top rankings. Right, right. And it just kind of sucks because like you know, like he said, he's kind of in a weird place because. Is there really any point for him to be fighting other than for the gold? Right. You know, it's like, you know, he's already fought. He retired and then coming back, like, if he had won, it was it would have been a good step up for him to be like, okay, I got the belt now. I'm going to go fight 145. Right. I'm going to go fight freaking Sugar Tits, Sean O'Malley, like, all that shit. Yeah, bro. But, you know, at the end of the day, he just didn't do enough. And yeah. it's going to be interesting to see what happens next on both sides. So No, I agree. I mean, we saw that some of the wrestling exchanges. Like, Suhuno got the first takedown, but mm -hmm. Aljo was still ready, going for a big hungry. Yeah. Even though Suhuda was still doing a good job adjusting in the round, I just feel like Aljo was doing little things better. Like, yeah. each round increasing those leg kicks, mm -hmm. ripping to the thigh, bro. The leg, the, the body kicks. Yeah, yeah. for even though Suhuda had his moments, I felt like he was waiting for that moment, like, with, when he fought Dominic Cruz to, like, counter, like, yeah. that opponent. You saw those knees were coming up, too. He kept a high stance, too, just to, like, discourage from taking wrestling. Like, just discourage the idea of him going to wrestle, but then right. teasing it anyway. Yeah. I also think that also protects him from stuff like a knee if he does try to wrestle and stuff like that as well but it was it was keeping a good posture and stuff little things like that but even so he just had to honestly keep working more on the feet yeah and just defending the takes i feel like if he didn't do as much wrestling stuff i mean look i get it the first round you want to establish you know like that and i went from there i'm like okay just faint it and then go from there because he could just if he had to put up the pace a little bit more i feel like he could have gotten all because i feel like there were some moments where yeah henry could have close. capitalized yeah. but he just sort of reset rather than you know doing that so yeah honestly i did notice that like it seemed like there's moments where if he had just kept going or if he just pushed the pace with the jab and i feel like he just if i'm being honest i feel like he didn't throw enough strikes yeah. like suhudo like he's known for knock he's knocked so many people out right like if he had just put more pressure and landed more just i don't know more striking mm -hmm. i feel like he could have really capitalized and probably got him out of there right but it just you know he was a little bit slower maybe he was needed to get used to that like that fighting what is it like the that fight mode again you know he hasn't been in the fight mode since three years so you know yeah. he probably had to get used to it but like you said yeah it just felt like he was a little slower on the striking part no, of things. i agree i agree i think that you know audra did all the adjustments that he needed to get it yeah. you know to get it done even though like he his wrestling style was pretty good as well. Yeah, but I yeah. also feel like, again, with at this high level from the weight cuts and all that, I just feel like sometimes it could be like a little bit more detrimental for those exchanges. But hey, they were both keeping up the pace. They were mm -hmm. keeping going. So yeah, it was a it was a great fight overall. Real technical. I even though it wasn't like the Coleman where I you know I expected it to be mostly a striking affair, but it looks like both of them wanted to prove that. Like nah. I was like, your gold medal don't mean shit. And yeah. uh, and then you know Henry Sue wanted that easy money, but turns out it wasn't that easy. So. Yeah, yeah, literally. No, I think um, it was it was kind of cool to see like you know even though they both are wrestlers they they were like now nah, we want to prove like we're really good wrestlers not nah. because right. like you said 
sometimes when there's two wrestlers fighting, they're gonna like, oh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to take that chance. Right, right. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep it on the feet. You know, we saw like, you know, Kamara we spin Colby Covington. Right, for exactly. A good example. But, exactly. But in this one, they're like, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna test, we're gonna test each other. <laughs> and they had good moments, like when there was a few moments where Cejudo almost had uh, Aljamain's back. Yeah. And vice versa, like there was a few times where Aljamain almost had Cejudo's back. So, dude, it was, it was a great fight. I think, sure, it wasn't like crazy, like. Like almost TKO or knockout, like none of that kind of stuff really happened. But it was a very strategical matchup, I think. Right, right. And it was it was cool to see, man. And because of that, I really don't want to see Cejudo retire because yeah, he's dude. still good enough. He still proved that he belonged. He got yeah. into a close decision. It was a split decision. So honestly, I, don't, I mean the crowd. I mean, look, you've been honest, bro. Some of the crowds were all going for Cejudo the whole time. So yeah. the judges could have been swayed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, a lot of the like. This was supposed to be like a. A home matchup for for what is it Aljamain Alger, yeah. right because he's from New Jersey and all that but well New York yeah, yeah New yeah, York yeah, yeah, yeah New York Jersey basically the same stuff yeah whatever. same same state I'm not but, <laughs> okay. but like because of that technically this is supposed to be like a a home matchup for Aljamain but it was actually more Cejudo fans like we actually heard so, like Henry in the right, crowd like exactly. we were yelling it so and there's and the funny thing is even when Aljamain won the belt like when they put the belt on him and people were booing yeah people were booing people were leaving yeah they, I, we saw like the, the when they're showing it the people were just walking on like okay so almost you know, almost as bad as glover when he retired you know yeah like, that yeah was al- almost as bad but i get it like people don't like aljo and my advice i guess to aljo would be like bro turn full heel bro just do it <laughs> yeah who yeah. cares like at this point like if you're not if it's better to be you know you want to be loved and rolled over and hated and respected at this point. And honestly, people can love to hate someone, bro. It's working for Colby. I'm not saying being like, whole oh, fucking, you know, go full into your, you know, ethnicity personality. Like, Colby. Yeah, 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 you don't yeah. want to be fucking Kofi Kingston, you yeah. know, in the, in, in the, you know, in the UFC like right. that, right? I'm not trying to be a Jamaican crazy man coming out, right? But again, like, if, you, if you're going to be against, the, if the crowd's going to be against you all this time, then screw it, bro. You do your style. Then eventually you'll be respected at this point. You yeah, know? no, I think I think he he feeds into that pretty well. Like he's not, he like he doesn't. I mean, every, like let's be honest, his last like two major fights, or let's see who he fought. Dillashaw, the the whole freaking the crowd, shoulder thing. The, I mean, no, the, but I'm saying the crowd was oh, completely yeah, yeah. against him. Yeah, no yeah. One was, everyone's booing him the whole time. So I'm I'm pretty sure he already knows that like he's not like the most favorite fighter. Right, right. But you know. He's he's getting making his money and he's like yo I'm the champ like what what else are you gonna do you can't the the fans can't do shit like yeah you know? but no nah, you but you're right he he honestly I'm glad he hasn't like isn't changing to trying to become a villain he's like you know what fans don't like me it is what it is yeah I'm gonna go out there do my thing and you know get wins but for real for real man but. Yeah. I don't know if you want to go into what some of the fighters are gonna. I mean, who you know, we we know we already know. Yeah, yeah. we know. Aljo's pretty much <laughs> set up. What you know, <laughs> basically. Yeah, Sean O'Malley. Yeah, dude. bro. Honestly, bro. If Cejudo wants to get back in for title contention, just fight Marab. Yeah, honestly. At yeah. this point, you could have like Sugar Show and Triple C versus Marab, and uh, and tri- you know, I'm sorry, Triple C and Sugar Show versus Marab and Aljo and have their yeah. teams fight. It'd be a crazy matchups, bro. That'd be nuts. Honestly, yeah, dude. I think if he. Uh, if Henry wants to fight someone, he should fight Marab. Mm-hmm. And if, if he beats Marab, you know... Number one contention again. Aljo, yeah, Aljo's going to be like... Considering what he's done for the company as yeah. a whole, and dude, he was such a great promotion for this fight. I feel like the only reason why people care about this fight is because of how cringe Triple C made it. Yeah, bro. honestly, that's true. <laughs> yeah, bro. Because, I mean, honestly, like, if we're being honest, the fan. I mean, like you said, like, fans are not a big fan of Aljo. Yeah. They're just like, ah, oh, whatever. For and real. The card, like... And the card wasn't that good in comparison yeah. by names. Not to say the results, because there were some good fights on this right, card for right. sure. But in terms of the quality of card that people were looking for, I mean, Jersey took a hit. Yeah. And at the same time, he, regardless, you see some of these, even though some of these are technical fights, some good knockouts, some good performances at the end, setting up a fight like that. That got me excited, bro. Yeah. Seeing Sugar Sean try to fight against Aljo and seeing now there's a size difference between them, mm-hmm. them beefing within camps, bro. That's crazy, man. It's going to be interesting, honestly. Like, whenever that fight, I mean, that, I guess that fight will happen in September, but yeah. I'm, they, I'm glad, I'm glad they allowed Sean O'Malley to come into the cage and like kind of do a setup for the next fight. Yeah, and Marab taking his jacket. Dude, that's hilarious. Wearing it. I was like, why is Marab that's wearing his jacket? So I, know, I know, I know, they're not friends like that. And then I was yeah. like, I figure like that's why there's some beef going on right now. I mean, I would be pissed off too taking my cool ass Michael Jackson throw ass jacket hey. and you being like, yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, but that, I mean, Rob really. that made it even funnier though. It's it is. It did, dude. bro. So <laughs> yeah. he took man's jacket, put it on, got up on the cage. It was like. 
You know, yeah, that's hilarious, bro. Dude, I can't wait to see how all that stuff is broken down. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting, but, dude, yeah. It's Which going to be on Twitter, the altercation? All the different oh, God. So good, so good, but... Yeah, Jason, any more thoughts on this fight, bro? Nah, man. I, let's just see what happens next. You yeah, know? man. No, I agree, bro. I hope Cejudo stays yeah. because he can fight Divish Folly, get right back in his title contention, and then boom, go to Volk if he needs to after mm, yeah. potential win against Aljo. That'd be sick. Uh, we have, what was it, Sugar Sean trying to fight Aljo now. So, honestly, all the matches set up squared away. Bro, any more final thoughts before we close out? No, nah, man. Guys, we're wrapping up here. Thank you guys for watching. Another episode, Never Bored with MMA. Guys, give the video so like, subscribe. Also, don't forget, Culture Cooney is always hype. Never Bored Naruto is getting hype, bro. So, stay tuned for that. And, obviously, Never Bored with MMA is always hype. So, team mm-hmm. for that. We're going to follow up on some of these cards and see what's exciting for you guys. So, stay tuned for more epicness for the Never Bored crew here. I'm your host with my co-host here. Jason. Y'all have a good one. Peace.